Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technex Solutions. So in the previous video, in our playlist of Snipe IT on Windows Server, we had a look at how to configure LDAP Sync. So in this video, we are going to look at how to automate that uh, system. So in the previous video, we know that when we click on LDAP Sync, it actually, it goes to our Active Directory and picks up any new users and then it will add. So for example, on the screen, you can see that I have logged onto my uh, Snipe IT and you can see that I have a user named test. Okay. So if I delete that user for now, so it is imported from LDAP, I will delete it now. Okay. So there are only three users left. And if I go back to LDAP sync and then uh, run the sync again, you will see that it will pick up that user again. And if, if I go back to people and this user is listed, all right, now you can see that this user has uh, come back. So if I delete this user again, there's a small script or small command you can run and it will actually do the same thing, the thing that we have just did manually. So to do that, we will go to uh, root directory of Snipe IT, in my case in local disk C, inet pub, and then in here, www root Snipe IT. If I click on file, open Windows PowerShell and I will open it as administrator and I will run a simple command which is php space artisan space snipe it colon ldap dash sync. If I run this command, you will see that uh, the test user which we just deleted and if we refresh this page, it will come back. Here's the user. So now what we can do is we can create a small PowerShell script. And uh, what I will do, I will create that script in local disk C and I have a folder named scripts and I will right click here and I will go with new, uh, maybe just a text document and I will name it snipe it ldap sync test. All right. And the extension, I will change it to PS1. Okay. So now I have PS1 extension. So if I right click and edit it, it will open in Windows PowerShell ISE. All right. So the first thing we will go to the first line is CD C backward slash. We will change our directory to the root directory of Snipe IT. In my case, it is inet pub www root backward slash Snipe IT. All right. So once I'm in the directory, I will run that simple uh, command, which is PHP artisan Snipe IT LDAP sync and click on file and just save it or you can save it straight away from here. Okay, so now our script is ready. So let's just test that script before we create a, a scheduled task. So let's just delete this test user again. Okay, so this test user is vanished and let's go back to our script, which we have just uh, created and let's just run it. Okay, the script has run and there is no error. That's good. And if you refresh this page again, you will see that this test user has come back again. Okay. So let's just uh, delete this again. And now we will schedule a task. Okay. To do that. So in the search bar, if you search task scheduler, just open that and then click on task scheduler library, right click and uh, click on create task, not the basic one, the second, uh, which is create task and name it i will name it uh, snipe it ldap sync test okay so snipe it ldap sync test so run whether user is logged or not and uh, run with high highest privileges with the triggers we will add a new trigger and um, we can call it daily and repeat task every hour or for this video i will say five minutes and duration indefinitely. We will come back and we will change the start time. This is good. Click OK. And actions, it is very important. Click on new, start a program, and name of the program is uh, PowerShell. And arguments is important as well. So here you have to type in where your script is located uh, and along with the script name. So um, in my case, script is located in uh, local disk C and in scripts. And this is the name of the script. Okay. I will copy the whole thing along with the name. Um, I mistyped it and let's just uh, fix that. And I'll copy that and paste this in your new task. See arguments here. See 
scripts backward slash snap it ldep sync test dot ps1 click ok and conditions we don't really have to change anything it's all good here settings are all good as well i'm keeping everything default okay unless you have to change uh, you can but i'm keeping most of the things default here and click on ok and password for the administrator click ok so this task is ready now I have two tasks what I will do is the top one I will disable that and this one I will right click go to properties and the triggers 8 19 a.m. so let's just edit that uh, 8 19 is already passed I will name uh, I will start at 8 23 click OK click OK anytime you'll make a change it will prompt for the password so this task is ready however we can start it um, manually right click and run just double check one thing there's no test user here so if I go back to task scheduler if I run this task it is running now so if we go to history of this task you can see that at 8 37 task was completed so we should have test user back here let's just uh, refresh the page there you go so a task scheduler worked and we have the test user uh, here so what I will do is it's gonna run every five minutes and I will add another user okay so now I'm connected to my domain controller and in my domain controller what I will do is I will actually add a new user and I have just added a test to uh, this is a new user so now our task scheduler will run and it will add this test to user to our snipe IT okay so at the moment we have four users and our task will run and then we should see the changes we made in the active directory I'll see you shortly okay so it's the task as we know that it was started at 8:23, where it says task completed and then after five minutes which was 8 28 and you can see that task triggered and task is completed and let's go back to our snap it and let's refresh this page and let's see if our test to user uh, has appeared or not in the users as you can see that test to user is appeared and which means our automated system for ldap sync is now working Thanks for watching this video. If you feel like this video is informative for you, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to show some support as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.